Time to launch into Cambodia. Let's see what we have here. The first thing we see is an extremely brilliant face. Funny snatch. Ah, I was about to say it's not too difficult, but no. Here they come, the cavalry. It's the alien kangaroo, the limel, and the moose alien extravaganza. It's time to build up those defences, make a good cat spam, get some good peoples, and start destroying. We are getting absolutely mullered. No word of a lie, mullered. Terribly mullered. Absolutely and utterly mullered. Mullered, mullered, mullered. Mullered, mullered, mullered. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, oh. Yeah. This time I have gone for a more weakening effect on aliens. The amount of damage they do is absolutely insane, I'll be honest. So what I've decided to do also is build up an army right from the start because we could evidently see that that was just a massive pack of destruction that emerged from this rather fancy green face here. But to deal with this blob mass of destruction what one needs to do is gather together an opposition of destruction and I think I've got just the guys for it. Right, into Cambodia we go and we can only hope that this will be third time lucky. So my plan this time is to build up a nice little wall and then unleash Catman. Catman will be the only thing to do a massive amount of splash damage to a large base of enemies. As you probably know, what I've been trying so far has not remotely worked. It is just a massive compilation of failure. Good luck to me, I suppose. Right, here goes, here they come, here they come. Come on, Catman. Yes. <gasps> I think he killed something. Valkyrie, out. Go, 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 go. Come on, Catman. Keep up the cat spam, keep up the cat spam. Can't have cat man unprotected. He's killed the lemur and stuff. Oh my gosh, I think this is working. I think this is working. The mooth has been stopped. The mooth has been killed. Catman is the way to go. Yes. I may have got myself a rich cat and a sniper cat, but precautions. Catman saves the day. Oh yeah. And a brilliant time score. Into the Philippines we are in the second part of this thing recorded much much far into the future and we are greeted with many bananas on a very lovely tree. This is a considerable amount of hours after the last attempt at that horribly difficult level and I have equipped yet more new units. The Neo Psycho Cat with its strange orb of purple energy and instead of going for another kind of middling anti-alien unit, I've gone full hog and done a general anti-enemies cat being the Ururun cat, or however you pronounce it. Um, so the Ururun cat can not back enemies, I think, although actually, to be fair, I have forgotten. So maybe what we should do is find out. And to find out, of course, we must deploy the Aurora Cat, which we now can do on account of the death of that rather classy seal there. We must give our condolences to the poor seal. But now we have many more to fill its place, so we're doing okay on that front. It seems so far this level is much, much, much easier than the last one. Here's the Aurora Cat. Nice purple, not purple, that's the... I, I, I can't do colours. Nice blue orb of energy to the blue aliens. And they seem to be taking it well. I mean, the alien seals seem to be controllable. They're dying at a decently fast rate. More are coming out, yes, but we seem to be doing okay, which is brilliant news. The Aruran cat, or should we say the Aruran... It is the Aruran cat, but it's like someone got the Aruran cat, as you can see. They're, they're riding on the Aruran cat there. It's a very complicated backstory. I mean, personally, I can never understand things like this. It all gets very complicated. But now, there has been a large amount of death. But Catman to the rescue, as always. We do like a bit of rescuing by Catman. 
And the great thing about being rescued by Catman is that he does it in style. Look, swoosh into thin air, comes out of thin air, smashes the ground with his fists. The little spray of purple as he smashes his hand into the ground. So now we've got Titan and Delinquent coming out as well. And to be honest, we're getting closer and closer to the base. This should not be too hard to overcome. I think we're going to do fine. But to be fair, they are quite strong as well. But now there's been death and elephant and all sorts of things. And I think somehow we will be okay. Uh, and as you can see, there's only one Jabalian left before we have the base. Now an elephant, but the elephants don't seem to be causing too much trouble. We started damaging their base and now a mere plethora of easiness towards the destruction of their humble abode. And we have defeated it. Hurrah! Okay.